gets it all done. As you all know, it does take a village and it takes everybody in this organization and in the city. So it is a real pleasure to introduce to you the grand opening of Pitt Studios today. Um, it does feel like a once in a lifetime. You only open a studio, I think, one time. Um, we're not really in too much of the television business every day, but I would say that this is a pretty, feels like a once in a lifetime moment, not just for the athletic department, but for our university. Um, this is an awesome example of what can really happen when there's true collaboration on campus and within our community. Um, and to start, you know, Pitt Studios really would not have happened without the leadership on campus. Obviously, Chancellor Gallagher is an essential leader um, who supports our vision. And in this particular case, I remember when I met with him um, when I first got here, and he completely understood the vision and the expectations of being a member of the ACC. And he supported the vision and the investment in this facility. Um, when we did arrive uh, about 18 months ago, uh, Christian's right, I, I was a little, we, we asked a lot of questions. Where are we? What's our relationship with ESPN like? Where are we planning to do productions? How are we gonna produce baseball events? Where's the fiber on campus? And we had a lot of questions to answer and to, uh, to, to get ready for. Um, and I'll just say next, I, you know, we had a chance to learn about NEP. NEP is a company that's headquartered here in Pittsburgh, and they're a privately owned international company, uh, production company that produces 75% of all live athletic and entertainment events in the world. Think about that. And I remember our very first meeting, um, Pat Bostick, Christian Spears, and I drove out to their offices. Um, and we had this unbelievable opportunity to meet, you know, their CEO, their CFO, and, and Glenn Levine. So we met with Kevin Rabbit and Jerry DeLon and Glenn Levine. And we, when we walked in those offices, um, I distinctly remember a sign, one gigantic sign in their office that was a graphic and on the wall, and it, it just stood out to me, and it's something I remember. And this is what it said on their wall at NEP offices. One team, unmatched talent working together. That is a powerful message. And I hoped that we would have the opportunity to work with e NEP and the NEP team walking out of that meeting that day. And you know, fortunately, we learned about their organization and they listened to our vision and we were able to see how to help one another. We are grateful to NEP's investment into Pitt Studios, their naming rights sponsorship, the NEP production hub that you'll get to see today. Um, and really their overall support of Pitt Athletics. And I can't wait for NEP to hire, officially hire the first student from Pitt who had as an apprentice or whatever the role is, um, but because they had the hands-on experience of working in Pitt Studios, producing an athletic event live for the ACC Network. Um, so Kevin, Jerry, and Glenn, I wanna thank you for your leadership and your belief in our vision. We are more than excited to show all of you this extraordinary broadcast facility and describe the opportunities for students to gain meaningful experience on live broadcasts. We're also grateful for the partnership of the ACC team at ESPN, and we know that our student athletes and our coaches and our alumni, donors, fans, and everyone connected to Pitt Athletics will be that much more connected to our university and what's happening here and within our athletic department on this platform. One of the things that we aspire to be in Pitt Athletics is a leader in the college athletics and in the ACC. And I'm confident with Pitt Studios and our collaboration across campus and the genuine partnership we have with NEP that we will set ourselves apart from any other school in the country that has a studio. And before I toss it back to the studio, you know, there are a number of really important thank yous um, because but for these people and their vision over the last 18 months, we would not be where we are today. So I wanna just give a couple shout outs um, to our facilities management team. Thanks to Jerry Schaefer and Bill Kane. You guys worked tirelessly to make this project come to life. Um, also from facilities is Dan Marchenko and Ron Lebo. You guys do a ton of work for us in athletics and your support and guidance through the bidding process and the planning process was invaluable. Uh, Mike Martin from Anthony James Partners. Mike couldn't be here today, but I would be remiss if we didn't thank him for his leadership, his friendship, and his experience 
in, in preparing us for this uh, venture. Joe Wire from NEC, NEP Bexel. Joe, you made many sacrifices to help us build this facility, and we are grateful to you for the final design of this beautiful facility. Wait till you see it in person. Um, from CSSD on campus, um, Mike Lagoida. Mike, your group insured. I mean, there no one understands how do you how did we just see the baseball stadium from here? That wasn't in existence 18 months ago. So they laid, laid fiber all across our athletic facilities, and um, and but for them we would not be able to do that. So thanks, Mike. And from SMG, who really runs the Pete. Um, I want to thank Scott Michaels and Anthony Smith. We had a ton of construction. We have lots of projects going on. Um, we interrupt the schedules constantly. And, and thanks for adjusting and adapting to everything and everything that you do here at the Pete every day. Um, I want to recognize Liam Spohr. Uh, he's the director of our engineering. And he really worked tirelessly and provided tremendous support as well. And, you know, really lastly, you know, the athletic department staff, I know a lot of people have had uh, you know, different roles, different responsibilities, different expectations, new expectations, new demands. Um, it was led certainly by Paul Barto and Kelly Hammonds. Um, Christian Spears certainly took a major leadership role and the positive energy that you guys brought to this project is invaluable. So thank you. 